Here we want to factor x to the fourth minus 16. And this is a classic exercise, right? And you'll see why. We can see this is a difference of squares, so let's bring up the difference of squares formula. Okay, so we're going to see this as a squared minus b squared. So maybe we can rewrite this as x squared squared minus 4 squared. Okay, all I've done is rewritten this thing. Okay, and now we use the formula on that. So it's x squared plus 4 times x squared minus 4. You may think that we're done, but we're not. Because look what we have now. x squared minus 4 is yet another difference of squares. Now, x squared plus 4 is prime because this is a plus, so we can't go any further with that one. So x squared plus 4, but then this one does factor once again, x plus 2, x minus 2. So always check when you think you're done factoring at the end and ask yourself, is this factored completely? Oftentimes you'll find that there's a little bit more than you can do to get your final answer. Let's try another one. Here we have x to the ninth minus x to the fifth. Well, that doesn't look much like a difference of squares at all. But remember, anytime you want to factor, the first thing you should do is try to factor out the GCF, always. So always, always try the greatest common factor, the GCF, first. Okay, and looking at this, perhaps you can see that the greatest common factor is indeed x to the fifth. x to the fifth comes out to the front. That leaves us with x to the fourth minus one, right? Because when you factor something out to the front, you're actually dividing every term in it by whatever you're factoring out. And when you divide, you subtract exponents. So when I subtracted out x to the fifth, I subtracted 5 from both of these exponents. That's one way to look at it. x to the 9 minus 5 is x to the 4th. And then, well, here the whole term came out to the front, so there's just a 1 left. Okay, now that we factored out our GCF, we can see our difference of squares. And it's the same as the problem we just finished, the same idea. So this x to the 5th is going to hang on, right? And then we can use this difference of squares formula, x squared plus 1 x squared minus 1, but then notice that x squared plus 1 is prime, but x squared minus 1 can get factored even further down to x plus 1, x minus 1. There's our final factored form.